Hi again, it's Melissa here, and this is my second process video. And I'm just going to be using some product from my stash today to create this layout. So what I've just showed you there is the We Are Memory Keepers Inked Rose 6x6 paper pad. The We Are Memory Keepers Albums Made Easy die cut and journaling cards. Dear Lizzie Polka Dot Party Paper. And I've got the dimensional embellishments. And also Dear Lizzie Lucky Charm die cuts. Now... I have made a layout for something else which I can't say yet, but I cut out a heap of triangles from that 6x6 pattern paper pad, and so I had a whole lot left over, and I really didn't want to waste them, and I didn't want to give them to my daughter either, because she loves to claim everything that um, I'm done with. So I've pulled that, pa that background paper, and that's from Polka Dot Party, and I got the 12x12 paper pad. And I just love that paper because the work is done for me in the background. And I love creating mixed media layouts as well, but I just thought this one would work really well with these papers. So here I'm just going through that um, package of cards, and it's made for Instagram photos, so you get a variety of sizes, and several of them are die card, as you can see there. And other ones are completely solid. So at this point, I know I want to use triangles, and I'm just wanting to see what else I can put on this layout to provide a bit of interest. And the photo is of my my baby. So this is my third child, and she's nine months now, but back in this photo, she was three months old. And with all of my children, and this is how I actually started scrapbooking, I've created an album where I take a photo on the day of the month that they were born, so she was born on the 15th of April, so on the 15th of every month for the entire year until she turns one, I take a photo. And so before she could roll or move around, I'd stage these photo shoots, I'd get a nice white blanket and dress her up and then wait till the light was lovely and just take heaps of photos. So this photo here is of her in a really cute tutu and it's after the photo shoot, I just put her under the baby gym to play. And it's so, such a cute photo, and because the baby gym is actually a butterfly, so she just reminds me of this cute little butterfly lying there. Okay, so now I'm placing my triangles, and for this layout, the triangles really did inspire me. And so I didn't plan this one out at all, I just thought I'll just record myself and just see what happens. So... Hence this. Just sorting through them. I don't want to have them the same patterns or colours next to each other. Now you notice that I am using some adhesive roller there and that's because I can't be bothered dealing with the double sided tape. And I'm really really sorry about the shaking. I didn't realise but the way my camera is set up any little movement when I film this one is being picked up, so I've remedied that. So the next video you see from me won't have that problem. I really wanted to use the butterfly icons, but I didn't go with the, the colours. Even though they're from the same collection, they didn't really go with the colours and feel of this page. I did consider stitching all the triangles, but in the end I thought I'd leave it quite clean. So it's a bit of a process, just trying to work out what looks best. And I think that's part of the fun of scrapbooking, especially pages like this which are really paper pieced. pieced. It's just fun to try and work out what looks best. So at this stage I thought I wanted to include that hello piece, but it doesn't make it to the final layout. It's just a matter of trial and error, 
It's pushing things around to see what looks best. And I wanted to mix up the sizes of the triangles. Now I don't have a silhouette yet. It's something I really, really want. But I do have a cuttle bug. So I'm trying to make the most of my metal dies at the moment. And it seems to be that in the scrapbooking industry, metal dies or manual dies are making a big comeback. And I'm so excited about that because it means that those of us that don't have a silhouette you get to play around with shapes as well. And that die, you could you would have been able to see it earlier on the video, it's from my favourite things and I got it with one of my hip kits. And I love it, I've used it a lot. So I trimmed that card down there and I did want to keep the rounded corners so I've just used my Becky Higgins corner rounder. So the album with all the monthly layouts, that's a separate album, but I, will, but I put these sort of outtake photos, they just go into her baby album. And I'm a bit behind on the monthly page scrapbook, scrapbooking layouts, but what I thought is if anyone was interested that I could do a layout share or an album share. Her birthday's in April, so once it's complete, I can show you what it looks like. So here I'm using the other side of the Today card and I'm thinking that's perfect for my journaling. I'm still fussing with the placement of different elements here. It's such a gorgeous collection. At this point I was thinking of backing those little die cuts so I'm just flicking through to see what would work. But I decided against it because I've already used nearly every piece of paper in that collection in those triangles. So now I'm popping them up with the Stampin' Up! foam adhesive. And that'll just give some dimension and a bit of shadow. <laughs> it's quite funny because the hexagon shaped and those little backing pieces end up everywhere. I've found them on my children um, all around the house. They don't always make it into the rubbish bin very easily. So I've committed to the heart and now I've decided that I want to add some watercolour to this card. So that's my Stampin' Up! watercolour pen. Just real simple, I, because I'm not a really, not really that, well, I'm certainly no expert on mixed media, so I just like to play around, and if you do it quickly and don't overthink it, it usually works out for someone like me that just wants a simple um, amount of mixed media. I'm, I am wanting to practice though and get better. There are some amazing scrapbookers out there. Who are really who make the most amazing mixed media pages, still in a clean style, which is definitely me. So I'm wanting another die cut card there, and I really struggle with the ampersand because it's a bit confusing as to how it goes, which way up it goes. I really, really want to get that floral star on the page. Okay, so I'm committing to it now, putting the foam squares on, or sorry, foam hex hexagons. <laughs> it's quite funny watching myself here, trying to make my decisions. Yeah, that, that yellow and white arrow is really cute works really well with the yellow just above it and also the yellow splatters on the paper. And I think at this point I've given up on trying to put those butterfly cards down. Now these 6x6 pages that have the words on them are just fantastic and often I try to make the most of pattern paper 
Pattern paper is my absolute favourite supply. I mean, I love embellishments too, but there's something about the paper. So if I can find a phrase that can work as a title, I'm going to go with it. So it says the sweetest thing. I originally thought I'd call the page Little Butterfly, but when I saw the sweetest thing, I just thought that's perfect for her, because she really is. She's such a lovely baby. So once again, I'm just committing to it. I'm not overthinking where I'm going to place it with the watercolour. As long as there's enough room for my journaling, then it's all good for me. Okay, so when I put a, um, an element like this on to my photo, and half on, half off, I'll put adhesive on the top, sorry, on the bottom onto the photo, and then I'll pop the other side up, so it's definitely some dimension added. So here we go with fussy cutting, which is something I don't enjoy, but I love the result. And I think this butterfly works really well. Cut off that little card. One thing you'll notice about my style is that I don't over embellish. I love layering, and I love layering up paper. But when it comes to embellishments, I always want the photo to be the star. And so any embellishments I add will be, be to draw the eye in and enhance the photo. Now here comes the mistake. I really shouldn't have put that there. And once it's down, it's definitely down. So I have an issue with the fact that there's no gap. There's no white space between that card and that triangle. So I've left it, but um, yeah, I'll go back to it because it really bugs me. So I've decided, well, if I can't remove the triangle, I'll remove the die cut. And you actually can, if you're really careful, lift up those dimensional adhesive. So I've moved it down, and that's a lot better. I think if I hadn't have put it there, it would have looked a bit empty. Okay, I'm just trying to remember what I did. Okay, I've had these dimensional stickers for a while now. They're from Polka Dot Party, and I am just really struggling to get them onto a layout. And you'll see later on I'll have a play with the heart to try and get it down. Now I'm going through the Lucky Charm collection die cuts. Lucky Charm would have to be my favourite Dear Lizzie release ever. And so I've probably hoarded them. And what happens when you hoard is that you get to the point where you can't use them. Not because you don't want to, you just can't. Well, I can't anyway. I was looking at that Bella Boulevard birthday girl sticker sheet to see if there's anything I could add from there. And I've decided to go with these, um, I think they're polka dot party flowers. Now they're on really, really thick chipboard and they have a pop dot underneath. And I... I like dimension, but not too much dimension, so I've peeled off probably half of the thickness of the chipboard. I love resin flowers, they're so pretty. One thing I find about being part of a kit club, although this is not, I mean this is made from my stash, but this perfect example really is that when I create from my monthly kit, I tell myself I have to use all those products up as much as possible. I, ha I just have to kill that kit. But when I buy for myself, like I have with these products, I'm tempted to not use them and they just sit around. So this year is all about pushing myself to use my own stash. So you'd seen that I tried to put the heart down, and now I've got a tiny little wooden veneer heart. And at this point, I think I'm going to place it there. Pulled out my sequins and 
initially I thought I would fill up the inside of those die cuts with sequins, but in the end I couldn't be bothered. I'll be honest, I couldn't be bothered. And I think I probably would have done it as a shaker, like a shaker card, and done it first instead of leaving it till now. So I've just added a few, three on that one and two on the other two, in the similar colours to what those die cuts are. And I think it just adds a pop of interest. Having a bit of issue with my glue there. Right, and I think the layout's nearly done. Okay. Yeah, I'm just removing the centre of the glue. It does dry clear, but sometimes with Tombow you can see a bit of residue. And that's the kind of thing that bugs me. Really wanted to get a doily in. I love using doilies. I add them to almost all my girly layouts. So it didn't look quite right at the top, but I like the softness that it adds at the bottom there. So I'm just going to tuck that under my photo. Just like that. And it's time for my journaling. I use a smash pen. I've been using it for, I think, since 2012. And it hasn't run out. I love it. But being New Zealand, I can't find any more here. So as soon as this one runs out, I'm going to have to resort to using something else. So my journaling just talks about how she's loving playing under the baby gym after I've done her photo shoot and I just say that she's our darling little butterfly which she is I think, okay I'm about to do my ink splatters so I've just got this this old cardboard here and I'm using an old pen that's run out this is the best way that I get round splatters. And once again, I don't overthink my splatters. I think if I start to think where do I want them um, and care too much about what size they are, then I don't get that random look that works. And here we are again with the heart, trying one last time, and it just didn't look right. So back it goes for another layout. And I'm thinking that that doily looks a bit bare, so it needs something else to be added to it. And I was going to put down the word sweet, but I didn't want to replicate, since I've already got sweetest in the title. And in the end I go with love you. Now I'm really sorry, but you're not going to see a still photo of the, of the full layout, because for some odd reason, when I uploaded it to this video, it just came out blank, so I've had to delete that one, but you will see some close-up shots of the other parts of the layout. And if you want to see it, you can head across to my blog. So there, I'm showing you there. And there's the final layout. Thanks for watching, and I'll be back with um, some more layouts soon. Bye.